Hi, the section 8.5, the sandwich estimation. So this section discusses the how to estimate the variance of beta hat when the original formula that does not work well. So consider a generalized least square model. So that is a linear model, but the, our assumption on epsilon is more general. So originally, epsilon follows IID normal error. So that means the variance of epsilon follows. A variance of epsilon is sigma square times um, identity matrix I. But here that we have a general, the variance matrix N by N matrix, the omega. So in this case, the beta hat is actually derived as this. So you can derive this in the same way as usual linear regression. If omega, omega is equal to sigma square times I, so this simplifies to X transposed X inverse, X transposed Y. And the variance, yeah, actually to derive this, that we can just make transformation of C and X. We can multiply the matrix C inverse where C times C transpose is equal to omega. Then the C inverse epsilon follows uh, just the standard um, uh, matrix. So the um, actually the matrix, the I, um, the identity matrix I, then the, we can apply the usual least square method to, S, to get the beta hat. And we can also derive the variance of beta hat in the same way. And that is X transpose omega inverse X trans X inverse. And this is actually the equals to the sigma square times X transpose X inverse for the special case that omega is equal to sigma square I. So this is an extension of the least square method. But in some cases that we cannot, cannot apply this um, maybe the omega is very large matrix. So omega inverse is not um, realistic to calculate. So in this case that we can use the sandwich estimation. So the idea is that we still use the beta hat even though this is not the best estimator. So if the assumptions are violated, beta hat may not be the best estimator, but still the beta hat has some good properties. For example, the beta hat is unbiased, even though errors are not IID, and the beta hat also the converges to beta, even though um, variance matrix is not diagonal. And the identity matrix times sigma square, the still beta hat finally converges to beta. So just we stick with beta hat, but the variance of beta hat is usually the underestimated, so we have to replace this, the variance of beta hat. And under the assumption of epsilon follows matrix omega, variance of beta hat based on this formula becomes this. So this is um, pretty straightforward. So it's, we can derive this in the same way as the variance formula for the linear model. So since the, this, the X transposed omega X is sandwiched by the, these two X transposed X inverse, that this is called the sandwich estimator. And this theory can be extended to the generalized linear model. So not necessarily the um, Gaussian case. And the, there is a reference in the textbook. So you can read it if you are interested in and in our language, we can use sandwich, library sandwich. And the, this function, the V, C O V, so variance covariance matrix, the HC, P, um, this function that calculates the, this, the variance of beta hat. So PR3 is the model, the Poisson regression model applied for the Galapagos Island data. And if we calculate the standard deviation of those vari variables, then these are standard um, deviations. So if the observations are highly correlated, then these um, estimates are much larger, but for this specific example, the difference is negligible. <laughs> 